One point one. It's the bare minimum. I feel like. Or one percent. Oh, how are you doing? So, so currently, try to Chris. Uh, Chris, listening to Chris. Hold on. Pause. So, you see me? I'm currently listening at the moment. Um, still, I'll try and get one video up a week. That's what I'm trying to do. It's Sunday today. So I really need to kind of get a quick video up if I can. So I'm listing Christmas jumpers um, like these. I find a load, a load more in the pile. They're vintage uh, Christmas jumpers, which is cool. Uh, the process is quite simple. I basically, if you can see me, I basically lay, lay it down flat like this and uh, take the photos. I'll take this one first. I'll show you the photo process that I do. Um, So I take the photos in a 1.1 aspect ratio and I do it like this. It's going to be difficult to show you what film it, but we might be able to try. We could try. We could try. Okay, so they lie on the floor like this. I do use a, I use a Canon camera. I'm taking a photo for a photo at the minute. It's a bit high. I usually have it a bit lower than that. One sec. So I take the first picture without my feet in it. Like this, it's usually a bit quicker, but you have to bear with me because I'm holding the phone. First one there, the next one, I get the detail here. And then I get the full length sideways like this. And then I get any tags with one hand like this. And the next thing I do is I grab some tape measures. I measure from pit to pit. So I don't put my measurements. I've got a template on the computer, which I'll show you next week, my templates. And I take one picture with pit to pit. Like this. I take a close-up at the bottom here. Like that. Then what I do then is I drag it to one side. This is really hard with a camera in my hand, so I'm only going to show you one. I will set up a, a stationary camera uh, the next time I do a photo video so you can see properly. Then I take a picture of the arm. Uh, that. That. Sec. Then I take a picture of the back. And one side view. And then I took that on that pile. Then that gets listed onto eBay. So that's how I do my photos. I do all my photos like that. Um, took a bit longer to do that one, but it usually takes me two minutes, two and a half minutes to do one set of photos, which is not bad, you know. So that's what's that in, a, in an hour or two minutes, two, four, six, eight, ten. So in ten minutes, I could do five units. Yeah, so I do 30 sets in an hour, which is which is not bad, um, really. And once all the photos are are um, done, I do it in bulk, bulk sets, so I do all my photos. Then I would do all my listings. I'll show you the listings next week. I'll show you how I do them. I sell similar off of my store if I can. It makes the process a lot quicker. So, yeah, that's how I do my photos every single one apart from obviously jeans is different but it's the same process taking pictures of obviously any defects if they come up and taking pictures of any details that come up um but yeah jeans is pretty much the same except for the measurements is the waist and inseam not the pit to pit and length you know so i do waist and inseam i do the thigh and do the cuff but I try and get as many pictures as i can in the photo with jeans so i would lift the cuff up to the waist 
and then put the measurement on the waist and take the picture and that gives me the picture of the cuff and the waist but also in that i'll have um the rise so from the crotch to the waist i'll take a picture of that as well but i have all that in one fit photo you know what i mean i'll bring the cuff up to the to the waist and then i'll put my measurement across from end to end from my waist that gives me the cuff then another ruler like you see the cross shape down to the crotch and that gives me my rise so in one photo i have three measurements and then i do um a picture of the inseam and then i go across for the thigh and then i go across for the um the knee with another tape measure so in that picture i have three measurements so i only have two pictures with all my measurements in and it just makes that process quicker which also means i don't have to put the measurements let's get a sip of coffee i don't have to put the measurements in the uh item description which is cool oh i just want to say as well thanks to nick hills by the way give me an awesome shout out on his on his channel i was not expecting it um, and um, I'm enjoying my Mr. Happy mug, by the way, Andrea. Thank you very much. And my wife has got the uh, Scrabble one for Christmas. I'm going to fill it full of lint chocolate. And the pencil pencils, where's the pencils? They're all down here in the basement in a box, ready to go in the stockings. Um, and the, the extra pencil cases is great, by the way. Thank you for that. I was wearing a Christmas jumper today, but I took it off because it needed washing. So best thing about reselling you get to kind of pick your own clothes don't you so thanks for that andrea and nick i appreciate that so i am watching i'm in the middle of watching the reason i'm part of the patreon group in the reseller podcast the chris lynch channel daily refinement uh we're, i'm watching um a patreon coaching call at the moment i don't stay up for them because it, the, the hours i think it's eastern times like six hours so it's six in the morning it's like two in the afternoon here which is fine for my morning calls but when he does his evening calls it's just too late for me so the plan today is to get the rest of these christmas jumpers listed i've got to get them done i've got i went digging through and found found some more i got one i'll show you how many i got so i'm listing today i got one these are lovely look at the embroidery in that my nails are filthy because I was grout in a kit, um, grout in a bathroom on Friday. I have showered, but the grout stains your nails. So we have that one. That's embroidered. I really love that. Uh, we have this one. They're not really Christmas, but they are kind of festive. -y. So I just got similar ones out. Really, that look kind of festive -y that you might wear this time of year. That's pretty cool. All vintage um, jumpers. Not necessarily Christmas, to be fair. But they look kind of Christmassy, don't they? I think. Scottish dog, Scotch dog. That's a cool one. I love that. And they're all embroidered. And I'm putting them on for sort of 14 quid each. I love that. Look at the bunnies on that. They've got to be worth some money, man. I'm not sure. I don't know. I put them on cheap to get rid of them there. So they'll, they'll be photographed next. Pop that here. And then I'm going to do these DVDs. That's the plan for today. I also need some more skew boxes. I'm running out. So I've got to um, condense them down. I might get another box out of it. But I need to order more. The thing is, they're quite expensive. They're like 60 quid for 20. Uh, you know. But I do need to get more. So I'm going to do that. Mm. Coffee, coffee. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to crack on with the rest of these photos and then uh, next week I will pop on and I'll show you my listing process. Um, I'm waiting. I've got me still got my GoPro and I'm going to start using it again, but I'm waiting for a case so I can strap it to my head to show you my listing process or put it up here somewhere so you can see the whole room as I'm working and I can kind of talk to the GoPro. That's going to be the idea anyway, but I've, I've ordered the kit for it so hopefully that won't be long and we can start doing that anyway so if you're new to my channel hi my name's tom i don't know if i've done that in the beginning um welcome <laughs> uh please subscribe that'd be awesome if you subscribed and supported my channel um leave a comment and i'll be happy to reply to you i've just discovered something as well that a lot of my comments have been hidden um i don't know why but ebay decided to put them in like a spam box and i went on youtube studio and there was another little section there called um spam potential spam mail and i went in and there was loads of messages there and i replied to them but um sorry they're late on the reply i never realized they went into that 
into that box but i've approved them anyway so take care guys and i will see you next week which will be what's it fifth today yeah the 12th Ooh, the 12th so long, long till christmas now guys wow it's so so quick because i haven't been listing my um impressions have dropped and everything which i expected anyway but my sales has still gone up and my conversion rate's gone up still even though my impressions are down by like 20 percent so super buzzing that's just the christmas for you isn't it? that's just christmas generally it's like that just sell shed loads so please subscribe to the channel guys i really appreciate that and um i'll catch you on the next video see you later